Well, well, welcome everyone. My name's Professor John Dewar. I'm the Vice Chancellor of La Trobe University, and it's our very great pleasure to be the guests today of SRM University, a very prestigious university here in India. Uh, we're inaugurating the Joint Centre of Eminence, which, as I said earlier in my in my remarks, um, really represents the formalisation of what is now quite a long history of collaboration between our two universities. Uh, we've run programmes for students, we've run programmes for staff, we're conducting joint research, but we thought the time had come to formalise the relationship and give it a name. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're, we're inaugurating this joint centre of eminence. But we're doing more than that. We are also looking ahead because what today represents is the creation of a new platform that will allow us to develop our partnership even further in all of the ways in which it's already been developing for students, uh, for, for articulation programs, for short courses, um, for seminars, and for staff. Um, so joint research projects, co-teaching arrangements, um, and, and uh, potentially, subject to discussion, um, joint PhD research supervision. I think this is uh, a model that many universities will pursue increasingly, particularly in India. Um, as I said before, we have many, many reasons for wanting to collaborate with universities of this caliber. Um, one is the caliber of the students um, that you have at this university. It is absolutely remarkable. And we saw earlier the extraordinary talent in these great Indian universities. And we, we are very keen to work with them, work with you to help develop and teach them. Um, but we're also very keen, t through you, to partner with industry. Um, we're a university that is very, very committed to taking our knowledge, our expertise, and having an impact in the wider world. Um, and for us, collaborating with industry is a very important way in which we do that. So I'm very pleased to be here on behalf of La Trobe University signing this agreement. La Trobe is a very highly ranked university, um, even more highly ranked than yours, Vice Chancellor, but I'm sure you'll catch up <laughs> uh, before long. Um, we're in the top 1%, we're in the top 300 on most of the rankings. Uh, we're very proud of that, um, but we're also very proud to partner with a university of the standing of SRM. So, Vice Chancellor, thank you for your welcome, and thank you to all of your colleagues for organising today and for making this signing possible. Thank you. As, as I said, a lot of activity has been happening already, so there won't be an immediate change because there's already been a lot happening. But what will what will happen is that we will now plan for the future in a in a more coordinated way between the two institutions. So this centre will have its own governance structure. It will have two directors, one from each university. It will have an advisory board, and we will plan systematically the student experiences and the staff experiences that can come from this collaboration. So articulation arrangements so that students can do part of their degree here and part of their degree in Australia if they want to. Um, short courses. Uh, particularly in areas like artificial intelligence, cyber security, Internet of Things, all of which are areas in which we have deep expertise, but you also have deep expertise. Any student exchange program? Of the reasons I've given, this is such a dynamic country. Our students can learn so much from spending time here, exposing, being exposed to uh, the, the expertise and the talent that there is here and just learning more about the Indian way of life and Indian culture. How many Indian students are there? In students yes. at La Trobe University? Yes. Um, 4,000. It's a lot. Yeah. I mean, in, India's become uh, the most important country for 
Australian higher education, but particularly for La Trobe. And I'm delighted that that's the case. Um, I, I've been coming to India for 30 years, um, and I've never observed a time when there is so much optimism, both about what's happening in India, but also about the relationship between Australia and India. Um, I'm, I'm very excited and I think this this partnership which is a partnership of equals it's 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 not a hierarchical relationship we come together as both very strong institutions with complementary expertise and a lot to gain from collaboration recently were uh, moment because we, we are very proud of the relationships we have there aren't many Australian universities that have the kind of relationships we already have with India. In fact, we've been uh, partnering with Indian institutions for over 30 years. So we have a relationship with Lady Sri Ram College in the University of Delhi, mm -hmm. for example. Um, that is now over 30 years old. So we, f we don't feel that we need to establish a campus here to have a really good relationship with Indian colleagues. We think we already have that. Uh, Certainly, there will be a lot of uh, activities that will happen, both in terms of uh, faculty exchange, student exchange, and research, and there will be an increase in the perception also. Is there any cap? I think it's the capacity of each institution to accept, because normally student exchanges have to be reciprocal, um, so they they are they grow or or don't according to how how much appetite students have to go to the other place and the capacity of the partner university to receive them. But we're, we're really keen to, to see more students from Australia come, come to Chennai, to SRM, um, and to see students come the other way.